What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Um, we're actually starting off pretty good today. Um, I just dropped in here and we've got an Anaconda, a Python, a Vulture, a Fertilance just showed up. So this seems like a pretty good spawn where we are right now. Uh, when we left off... Oh, no, 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 where'd he go? That's the python. Uh, okay. Well, at least there are pythons spawning, but there's no... Uh, I doubt he's wanted. That's the vulture. Where'd the conda go? There he is. Dropped off my radar for a second there. Uh-huh. I was gonna say, it almost looked like he was mining for a second. I was like, wait a minute. What madness is this? So yeah, I got a little excited by that, uh, kind of for, for, hmm, what's the past tense for foregone? I guess it should be foregone. I was gonna say, like, you know, I've ignored my original, you know, when we left off in the last episode thing. I mean, basically we've been doing the same bounty hunting things for a while. Ooh, this is, what are you guys, oh, they're not, what's going on here? The collection. Oh, the vulture's going after. Yeah, who's the other one? Oh, is that him firing back? That's him firing back. Okay, okay. We'll help out here. I'm okay with that. Ooh, wrong one. I'm not gonna lie, I've always been a little bit surprised that the um, chaff doesn't disturb the scanner thing. I mean, I'm fine with it. It just always kind of puzzled me. So I just realized this uh, character name is Bluebeard. Which <laughs> is awesome. Alright. If he can stop using that for five seconds. We'll get it on this. Oh, something just hit him. That looked like a missile. Okay, where'd he go? Dang it. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Sweet. Off to a good start. Ooh, a federal gunship. Oh, I don't see the conda anymore. Where'd the conda go? Unless this is him. Did he stay back over here? Let's find out. Oh, that's a Ferdy. Alright, well, we'll go for it. And then we'll go after the other guy. Alright, come here. Critical's a little... Critical's a little overzealous, don't you think? Um... Fedra... Alright, where's the gunship? He's back over this way. Let's see what we've got going on here with him. Oh! Finger off the trigger, he's actually not wanted. That I find surprising. Hmm. Oh, here I am looking at my panels over here and almost ran right into this rock. So he's not wanted. Is the Cobra wanted? I guess this is part of his wing. Oh, come on. Scan him already. I hate that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, they're both clean. Huh. Well, that was unexpected. So is the python. What madness is this? The python's clean. The, um... Was that a star or was that a, a blip? I think that was a star. Hmm. Oh, another vulture. 
That'll work. Looks like he may be in a wing, or is he dogfighting with somebody? Wing. Of... Oh, an eagle. Okay. Pretty. I'm not always a great pilot or anything, but every once in a while I get a maneuver just right. It makes me happy. I think I'm developing a bit of a new strategy with... What? Really? That didn't finish? Are you serious? What is he doing? Kind of looked like he was just going to run into the wall there for a second. Unless they're hiding behind the asteroid. Uh, but yeah, I kind of think I'm developing a new strategy, which is go and scan things. Um, and then... Kind of see what ends up getting attacked by the feds first. <laughs> type of wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I thought it said the gunship was wanted for a minute. And... Do we want to go after the eagle? first is kind of what I'm thinking about. Because the eagle won't last long. Speaking of not last, where did he go? That's not him. Yeah, it is. Alright. So let's take him out first. Just so we don't have to deal with him later. Wow! Oh, that was awesome. That missile strike, though. Ooh, a clipper. Alright, where'd he go? Vulture, there you are. And you're still alive. Yay, me. Did I pass power plant? I did, there it is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Cool. Honda, get out of my way! Sweet. Still gave it to me. I didn't think it was going to give it to me because I didn't really do much. Clipper. There's a federal dropship too, but let's check out the Clipper, see what we got going on here. Oh, and I just remembered, there was a couple people that had asked me um, at the end of the last episode what um, my overall haul was for the last... Uh, episode because we actually did really well, especially at the end where there was just a bunch of high-end ships. <laughs> that was funny. Talk about just getting annihilated out of the blue. Can I get my beam? Wow! Well, that didn't take a whole lot. Thanks to, like, all of these, um, like, bazillion laser blast things coming out of all these federal guys. Um, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, we pulled in somewhere around 1.8 to 2-something million, I think. So it was a pretty good run. Uh, where did it go? Power plant. There we go. Now, for this one, since there's feds around, but they're not really here. I may just... Oh my gosh! That took me a second. That's why I paused and stopped talking. I thought this said Chris Pratt. It says Chris Platt. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That might end up being the title of the episode. I shot down Chris Platt. Because that's hilarious. <laughs> Chris Platt. That is awesome. Oh, I wasn't even watching what I was doing. I was looking at all my temperature gauges and stuff. Ran right into it. Almost did it again. Where'd he go? Oh, and I did turn off the, um, the, uh, announcement voice thing. Um, because there was, I got a comment explaining how to do that where she won't tell me every time I turn on and off the flight assist thing, so that's cool. You'll still hear the little blip, and I think... Yeah, you'll still see it in the top right corner. Um, the notification thing. Yeah, that really distracted me for a minute, though. Like, that kind of rattled my concentration. 
Chris Platt. That's so funny. The best part to that was literally that I thought it said Chris Pratt for a second, so I was like, hold on. We've already shot down Etho. <laughs> that was funny. Man, look at the radar, though. We've got, like, a whole federal fleet going on here. This is great. It's a bounty hunter's best friend. I'm still getting used to when to do that and how to do it best, but... Just give it a minute. This is the best kind of bounty hunting, though. You get a lot of high-end bounties, and all you kind of do is just sit here and wait for the feds to mop up. Oh, you and your chaff. Get out of here. I really can't figure out sometimes why my laser just stops firing. I mean, when I have... Oh, you just hit the asteroid or meteor or whatever. Admittedly, even with all my sci-fi experience, really not entirely positive what differentiates the two. Come on. I probably shouldn't be taking it quite this easy of like just floating right in front of him and stuff. Might be getting a little too lax. Really? On 2%? I was gonna say. Ooh, 300. Nice. Um, I'm gonna put everything into shields. I don't really feel like using the shield cells right now. Mainly because they don't really do much. Actually, this is a good opportunity to check. So, what is it? Le I think that's... No, did I not use one of my shield cells? I thought I did. Yeah, there it goes. So it really didn't bring back that much. Where's my... Yeah, so it did use one. Yeah, it really doesn't bring back all that much of my shields. And I really think it's just because they're a low... They're a low quality one. Otherwise, I think it would do more. Because I used to have the... Like on vultures and stuff, I used to have the like class A or something shield cells. And they would actually bring almost two to two and a half rings back, I think, on my shields. Oh, let me get to him before you kill him. And scan him. I mean, I'll definitely get in on this, but... great spawn and it was actually the first one I did like normally I have to spawn in and out a couple of times or when I say spawn um, a long time ago I Oliver King Wow we're getting some great names in here by the way they're all like parody names but I'm fine with that because I'm fairly certain this is a spin-off of Oliver Queen but <laughs> Oliver King and Chris Platt love it. That's so funny. Uh, I'm not gonna do the multi-target yet because, or the sub-targeting yet, because I want to see who his wingman is. Peter Black? Why does that sound like that's also some kind of... That could be some other kind of parody name. I'm not really sure, though. I'm, I'm like 95% sure that Oliver King is supposed to be uh, a funny one. As well as Chris Platt. That's pretty obvious, Chris Platt. I mean, that's one letter off. It's hilarious. Okay. Let's see what the green vulture can do. I mean, wait, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Alright. Let's get in on this. I hate it when they use uh, shield cells as I'm trying to fight them because it's one of those where I'm... 
you're trying to get their shields all the way down, because if you can get them all the way down, then the shield cells don't do anything. Which is helpful. If you're attacking, anyway. Dang damn it! Freaking vultures are too maneuverable. Actually, I just saw some little icons under the um Wait, that's not him. Where's the adder? Did they get him already? They probably got him. Um, I just saw, like, under the targeting, under the ship display there, there was a couple little icons that it came up that I've never seen before, and I'm wondering if those are newer, um, I don't know, some kind of newer indicators for status effects or something. There's a gunship, but he has no record, so he's fine. No. Oh, what was that? Oh, ha! Huh, my target. <laughs> Whoops. Some bounty hunter I am. Ooh, what was that? This one has a bounty. Oh, right. It's the guy I'm already locked onto. That makes sense. Okay. But yeah, overall, uh, we're not doing too bad. Hello? Update, thank you. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute now. Hold on. What the Is this guy bailing on me here? What's going on? Let's see if I can uh, um Let's see if I can use this to coast up to him. I have found that since you're oh he got away. Since your um speed doesn't really decline all that much if you're going in the same direction with uh, flight assist off. I've found that that's a good way um, to move a little bit faster if something's getting away from you, basically. Is you can boost and then um, use your uh, flight assist off to kind of... It would be like in Space Engineers, like turning your dampeners off kind of thing and, and letting yourself just coast. Um... A lot of you probably already knew that. I've only recently started messing around with the switching the flight assist off and stuff like that, so. Uh, one thing that I've been curious about but never really gotten to it is when you're flying bigger ships like anacondas and cutters and things like that, um, I wonder, I've always wondered if the... F what was that? I just had a weird sound effect I've never heard before. That was different. All right, let's light this candle. Let's go ahead and throw a chaff out there. Just make it harder for him. Whee! A little bit better, we're getting there. No, 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 no. no. Wanted to get his cells or his shields down. Throw that out there. There we go. Yeah, I should not be really that close to him, considering that he's got some kind of like flat cannon, looks like a shotgun. It's probably not the best of ideas. Something just hit him like a ton of bricks. That was cool. Yeah, so I'm definitely either fighting higher-end NPCs, or they have definitely bumped up the, um... the competence of the enemy ships and stuff, because I used to be able to take on pythons and stuff without really hardly even losing much of my shields, and the last couple of times I've soloed them without the help of, like, the feds around the area and stuff, they they take my shields down pretty close to being busted, and that's just, like, one ship, a one-on-one -on -one fight. 
So I haven't quite been able to pinpoint if it's one or the other, or actually both. If that, like, because of my rank, if they're getting harder, but then also because, like, the devs are, are upgrading the, the AI or something with different patches and things. I don't really know. I still stand by letting the feds take them down to, like, this, like, 40% and stuff is probably the best way to do it. I mean... It's kind of like I just swoop in and mop up. It's pretty great. And I get 130,000. <laughs> I mean, what's not to love? Alright. So, who is next? How about this? Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have a record. We tried that already. I can't just blow people up just because. They're in the right kind of ship. They gotta have a bounty on them. I gotta remind myself that. I need a little post-it note, like, up on my monitor. Don't just shoot at people because they're the right type of ship. Make sure they have a bounty. Any of you guys that have watched my series for a long time probably can remember how many times I've gotten my own bounty just from shooting a ship because it was the right kind. Uh... What can I say? I got an itchy trigger finger. Alright, I may have to give it a pause just for a second and let some more spawn in and see what we get. So I'll be back momentarily. Alrighty, so we got another one. Looks like a federal gunship, which is fine with me. Alright, we need to drop in about two and a half... Or no, two kilometers, I think, is my current scanner range. Hello! This has to... That! Is that a new sound effect for the shield cells? Maybe? Oh, 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 alright, alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get in on this, though. They're gonna kill him. There we go. I love it! All I do is fly around and scan things and wait. It really would have been far more appropriate for me to still be flying a vulture. Oh, what are you guys shooting at? There's a condo over here, but what's going on? Explorer? I'm gonna get in on this just to tag him. have an anaconda here, so three guesses if we're going after him. Especially since the feds are already all over him. Wait for it. Oh, you worry too much about the temperature. I could probably turn that one off too, but... I do kind of like it in the event that it's not just coming from my weapons. My weapons, I know, won't really overheat me to the point of causing damage. But if it's other things like... Oh, ow. If it's other things like the, um... The shield cells and things like that... Oh, that was kind of cool! I don't know if that was a missile or the rest of the ship. But it, like, straight up ran into the asteroid. That looked cool. Um... What else we got out here? We got a scout and a sidewinder. Well, this sidewinder is not going to be worth anything. Once, just once, I think it'd be hilarious to find some kind of scout, or not scout, uh, I'm looking at a scout, so that's what I said. Um, one of those sidewinder type ships, like a really tiny ship, and have it have like a nine million credit bounty. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Just as kind of like, uh, everyone would just ignore it because no one would think they would have, um, a bounty on them type of thing. Oh, this is a three-man wing. Definitely gonna have to wait to engage on this one. Well, I don't, wouldn't have to, but seems like the smartest idea. 
Solo. That's his name. Ironic. I I I ironic. I was going to say the irony and ironic at the same time. That's why I got tongue-tied. But irony there that Solo is flying in a wing. Just saying. It's, it's not really living up to... What are they doing, by the way? They're like strafing. Alright, so we're going to go after... Because these feds have been taking people out like crazy... We're gonna go after the assault ship first. We're gonna take our chances. Normally I like to get the small fry out of the way first, but... Ooh, nice, nice, nice. He's actually able to stay on his back the whole time there. Oh crap, I had the wrong fire group set. Oh, too far. Overshot it. Woo. Oh, no, that's awesome. Some of you may not have heard that precisely or not, I don't know, but my uh, chain guns, the sound effects like synchronized and it actually sounded like a minigun or something. It was, it went from that doo -doo 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 to more of just the which was awesome. That sounded great. Alright, did they get everybody or is there still some stuff going on? Oh wow, we, are, we got a really good spawn today. There's a clipper and a fertilance over here somewhere too. Let's check their base. Are they attacking somebody? Okay, he's wanted. Really? A clipper versus a sidewinder? Alright, he's at 127. Where did that... Uh-oh, I lost him. Where'd the other one go? Probably back up here with the feds. probably from the clippers. Let's get over here. There's a fertile ants over here. I doubt they could have killed him already. I don't know. Maybe they did. He's like gone. Alright. Well. Power plant. Let's get a scan going on, and then we'll see if we can't find that fertile ants. Woo! I'm always running into stuff. Boom. Okay. There's those two again. Hmm. Well, there was a fertile ants around here. But I'm actually starting to wonder if the feds didn't take him out already. Because he's like nowhere around. Probably should just hang out with the fed guys. Just follow them around. Alright. Um, nothing new. Tell you what. I'm going to take one more pause. We're going to see if we can't find out, uh, find like one more, one or two more good uh, targets. Uh, never mind. I'm not going to pause. We found him. Eh, <laughs> thought I was gonna find you from one fertile lance to another all right so this is probably gonna be our last one for this episode Sancho Cooley <laughs> that's a cool name I don't know if that's a parody or anything 
like the other ones we ran into, but that's still a fun name. Sancho Cooney. Alright. Now, this is gonna be a little risky if we actually go on and, like, actually start fighting him right here, because there's not a lot of fed ships out here to back us up. Which can be problematic. Oh, he's gonna act- he's gonna- I need to sell whatever's in my cargo hold. You got 15 seconds. Do you want- do you want my reply, Mr. Pirate? This is my reply. I honestly have kind of always thought it was a little bit funny. Um... Again, this is- this is one of those things where, like, I understand from a game point of view, you kind of have to do it a certain way, um, just to make it playable. But it's kind of like, I always think it's funny that, um, we need to do that too, actually. That you're, oh, come on, get over here. Uh, that your chaff doesn't actually bother your targeting system. That's kind of one of those things I've always thought was a little comical. I can't get his shields down. Come on, just drop. Thank you. Oh, that's not, that's not good. I'm out of heat sink. I didn't realize that. Ooh, that was bad. Hey, the feds are here. Perfect timing, guys. Oh, I have no thrust. I thought my throttle was off. That was weird. Gotcha. Try and take my stuff. 152. Alright, so I think that's gonna do it. I think that was a really good run. Um, so let's head back, and this time I will include it. Uh, so let's head back to the station and find out how much we actually got this round, because I'm pretty sure it was a pretty good one. Alrighty, so here we are back at Cabrera's claim. So let's go ahead and check out what we got. 2.36. Nice. That was a really good haul today. Incoming message. Uh huh. Of course there's an incoming message. Why? Because you guys love me. Federation change. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Um, so, one thing I want to check, though, is where does our reputation stand? We're at 86%, 81% on midshipmen. So, it just now occurred to me, but I don't think we'll end up getting any rank missions until that hits 100%. So, we've got a ways to go still. I don't really know what it was when we first started. But, anyways... I think that's going to do it for us for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.